Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about how to repair a no service issue on an iPhone. Now I've already addressed a quick fix to this repair, but there are a small portion of the repairs that will require a little bit more in-depth repair. In the previous video we went over how to simply reflow a board using a board heater to correct for this issue, as a lot of the times with a hard impact, something that breaks the screen or the back glass, the frame, a lot of the time, the newer iPhones have the tendency to somewhat split the top from the bottom board, therefore losing like cellular, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. And a good portion of the time, the solution is simply to heat up the board and let the solder joints reform. But the other issue that comes with that separation is when pads get pulled and I'm talking specifically about the pads that hold the top board to the bottom board. The solder joints instead of cracking themselves might pull the pad physically off of the surface of the logic board. Today I'm going to be quickly going over one of the many ways to fix these pads. My preferred method, it's quick, simple, and we're going to talk a little bit about the issues that come with doing it other ways. So if we look here, we've got a bunch of missing pads. If we put a little bit of alcohol on them, you can see kind of the traces mm -hmm. that, that, I've, that, they, that they're attached to. We just need something, we need to tin the, tin the tips. And I'll use this one as an example because it's kind of there already. This one right here in the middle. What I've done is I've got solder on these. I need to still go in and get better, better solder on those. But what I'm gonna do is gently remove this top surface here so it could just be a flux it could be a little bit of the top but i'm going to get down to where that solder is now flush we'll take uh, our uh, pad rebuilder here what i'll do is i'm going to put a teeny bit of solder paste there grab the iron and I'm just going to kiss it a little bit, get some solder on there. Not a lot, just a little bit. And we'll carefully peel this guy up. Flip him over so that the solder is facing down. And then I'm going to pin it in place so it doesn't move. And then we'll go and touch it with the iron. Now it's not going anywhere. So now what we'll do is we'll take our, and I could do all the others now, right? I, I, before cleaning it up, but just so you guys can see how I do it, I'm just gonna clean the, the, the area. So we'll clean the area of all flux. Okay. And we'll thoroughly dry it. I'll take a little bit of UV mask. That's enough. I'm going to go around the edge. I'm going to put a little bit more. Just like that. And we want the the we want it to kind of go around it, kind of grab onto the edges like that and then we'll cure it with the UV light but what we're looking for is we're looking for that that uh, uh, the UV mask to kind of kind of go under but kind of hold on to the outside edge so it doesn't want to move when we go to, to, to solder it so now that it's cured we'll come back in needs a little bit more time to cure, so I'm going to go cure it again. It's probably a little too fast. It's still soft. We need to get a little harder. But then we'll clear up the top. You see the orange stuff? We're going to go and we're going to scrape through it. Okay. 
Okay, that way we have a pad that we know is making contact because there was solder down below. And, uh, and now it's, it's on there so it's not going to move. And it shouldn't even lift if we ever need to separate these ports again. So um, you can see here, for example, so there's three more right there. They're kind of in line with the others. They're a teeny bit smaller, but I wanted really to hold on to something. But they're all making solid contact with hold below. So you, not all of these may need to be rebuilt, but I'm going to just rebuild them because it doesn't take me too long. Especially if I'm doing all at the same time. I've got a few more over here I think I need to rebuild. But um, yeah, just so you guys can get an idea. One of the issues that I see with regards to repairing pads when it comes to a different technique is using a hot air gun, for example, to install the pad, which if done properly is completely fine. The issue is applying too much heat. Sometimes throughout the process of using a rework station, you can heat up the board so much that the solder melts under components that have underfill, in which case you get squeeze out, which can inevitably short out the device. You could potentially as well float the CPU depending on where your heat is at and that can cause issues especially if you try to inject power into the board this can result in a completely dead phone where even a reballing of the CPU isn't going to fix it. This method that I show using a soldering iron as the only form of heat to fix the pads is my preferred method from for that and many other reasons. If there's something that you do different when you repair pads, specifically these pads between logic boards, leave it in the comments below. If you find this type of content useful, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.